Before Mother Nature packs a punch on your home, know what to do after she leaves town. We're talking about understanding your homeowner's insurance policy before you need it. Whether it's a storm, a flood, or a fire, Consumer Reports walks you through how to file a claim and get the most out of your insurance coverage. Safety first. If your damage is catastrophic, start the claim process only when it's safe and okay for you to be there. Contact your insurer as soon as possible. Document everything. Take plenty of photos and videos. Make a list of what was damaged and needs repair. If you can't get to your property, ask your insurer how to proceed to get the process moving. And make sure you are there when the adjuster visits so you can document what they see. Document all contacts with your insurer and keep detailed notes. Everything from missed appointments to what was discussed, even if they were rude. Keep every receipt. A standard homeowner's policy reimburses for living expenses if you have to stay outside your home for a period of time. You'll want these receipts if there's a disagreement or you end up in court. After talking to your insurer, do the stopgap work. That is, the repairs you need to do to make sure there isn't further damage. For example, having the plumber come to turn off the water. A standard homeowner's insurance policy covers damage to the structure and personal property up to certain limits and minus your deductible. Replacement cost coverage pays to rebuild your home and replace stolen or damaged items. At today's prices, actual cash value coverage pays to rebuild your home and replace stolen or damaged items, but factors in depreciation. If it's minor damage, like a few thousand dollars, you might not want to file that claim because your insurer could come back and charge you more in premiums later. And if you file several claims within a short period of time, your insurer could dump you. But there might be exceptions after some storms. Take water damage. Small spots on a wall or ceiling could indicate a bigger mess inside a wall or attic. Reporting it now shows you've reported promptly. Finally, you might want to turn to someone called a public adjuster if it's a large claim like a total loss. They work on your behalf and represent you, but it will cost you. In some states, a public adjuster's fees are capped at 10 to 12 percent of the insurance payout. Other states have no percentage caps and adjusters charge an hourly or flat fee. If you think the wording in your policy is misleading, have an attorney specializing in insurance law look it over. The Consumer Federation of America notes that courts have consistently favored policyholders on policy ambiguities. You can also file a complaint with your state's insurance department.